Bonjour à tous, je m'appelle Himanshu. Comme vous savez, je suis votre professeur de français. Euh, D'abord, je voudrais vous dire merci beaucoup pour votre soutien et vous avez, euh, vous avez abonné à ma chaîne de YouTube. Merci beaucoup pour ça. Uh, today I'm going to teach you aujourd'hui je vais vous enseigner how to master the present tense in French from regular to irregular verbs. Ensuite, on commence. C'est parti. In French, it is very easy to make present tense sentences. Because uh, we use the same formula that we use in English, that is subject plus verb plus object. Let us see some examples. Before we start, I would like you to uh, remember these few expressions which are very useful while making sentences. Ilia. Il y a. There is or there are. Il n'y a pas. Il n'y a pas. There is not. There are not. Y a-t-il. Is there. Oblique. Are there. Qu'y a-t-il. What is there. What are there. Combien de? How many? Combien de? What is there on the table? For what is it is? Kya til? Yes, kya til? What is there? Kya til? On is a preposition which is sure. The table, la table. Kya til sur la table? What is there on the table? There is a book on the table. There is ilia un livre sur la table. Ilia un livre sur la table. So let me ask you this question and you have to answer. Kya til sur la table? Encore fois, qui a-t-il sur la table? Very good. Next is, are there students in the French class today? Y a-t-il des étudiants dans la classe de français aujourd'hui? Y a-t-il des étudiants dans la classe de français aujourd'hui? Try to pronounce it with me. Y a-t-il des étudiants dans la classe de français aujourd'hui? Ok, let me go slow. Y a-t-il des étudiants dans la classe de français aujourd'hui? Very good. If in case it is hard for you to pronounce it correctly, then please go through to my video where I have taught you how the French is uh, how the French is, uh, uh, how we speak the French, uh, because I have told you some diphthongs, 16 to 17 diphthongs, I believe. You please watch the video of the diphthong series. Then it will make more sense to you. How many members are there in your family? Combia the person Yatil, Yatil is are there. How many is Kombia the? Do means in, Votra means your, Famille means family. So it will be Kombia the person, Yatil the Votra Famille. Kombia the person, Yatil the Votra Famille. The answer is there are four persons in my family. Il y a quatre personnes dans ma famille. Il y a quatre personnes dans ma famille. Word to word translation. 
So let me ask yourself this question. Combien de personnes y a-t-il dans votre famille? Please answer me. Or repeat. Combien de personnes y a-t-il dans votre famille? Il y a quatre personnes dans ma famille. Well, we have done this before that in, uh, in French we have regular and irregular verbs. For regular verbs, the endings are like this, okay? If you don't know about this, please go back and watch my video about the French verbs. Then the video will make more sense to you because learning a foreign language, you cannot learn through any random videos. You need to go step by step by step. Uh, if you want to learn properly otherwise you will lose the interest and it will be really difficult for you to master the language i finish at 8 pm what is the verb finir which means to finish je fini a venter now remember 8 pm they follow 24 hours clock international clock so it is 20 um, venter 20 is when so venter fini how is came f i n you can see the verb f i n and i r will be replaced here if you see jo and i r will get replaced with i s so it becomes jo fini now I, I, I repeat again I have explained these all things in a video of how do we uh, make verbs in French please watch that video then only come to the sentences I sell flowers S to sell is vendre so it should be je vends des fleurs des fleurs subject is je Verb is one, one, they is article and fleur is flowers. Je vend des fleurs. Today we have the class of French. The verb is have, which is avoir. Aujourd'hui, which is today, nous avons la classe de français. Now here if you see uh, in my next slide I have done the conjugation of verbs like finir and wander for you. Je fini, tu fini, il elle fini, nous finissons, vous finissez, il finisse because ENT is silent, elle finisse, they finish. Je vende you want il elle vend nous vendons vous vendez il elle vend so je fini now you can see how this je fini came and je vend accordingly it came from here je vend avoir verb J, which means I have first our verb to have it is used to replace the words like is m r was were J means I have Q R you have il l r he she has nu zavon we have vu zave you have il so el so they have so today is aujourd'hui. We have nous avons. How it came? Well, it came from here. Nous avons. We have. Aujourd'hui nous avons la classe de français. The class of French. Aujourd'hui nous avons la classe de français.
दे प्ले फुटबॉल सब्जेक्ट इज दे वॉब इज प्ले एंड फुटबॉल इज फुटबॉल विच इज ऑब्जेक्ट वॉब इज प्ले लेट एस सी ओके इट्स हेयर द वॉब इज जुवेर जुवेर टू प्ले जू आई प्ले ट्यू जू यू प्ले इल एल जू ही शी प्लेज नू जू ओ वी प्ले वो जुए यू प्ले इल जू एल जू ई एन टी साइलेंट दे प्ले दे प्ले फुटबॉल सो इल जू ओ फुटबॉल ओ इज एन आर्टिकल सो इल जू ऑफ फुटबॉल दे प्ले फुटबॉल यू ड्रॉ वेरी वेल ड्रॉ इज अ वर्ब लेट अस सी द कॉन्जुगेशन एंड द वर्ब इज यूज फॉर टू ड्रॉ देसी ने जो देसीन आई ड्रॉ क्यू देसीन यू ड्रॉ इल एल देसीन ही शी ड्रॉज नू देसीनो वी ड्रॉ वो देसी ने यू ड्रॉ इल एल इल देसीन एल देसीन दे ड्रॉ so they draw very well sorry you draw very well so i have made the sentence in formal and informal first one is formal whenever who comes it means in hindi aap so it's a formal one who desi ne tre bio tre is very well is bio who desi ne tre bio aap bahut acha draw karte hain kyu desi ne tre bio तू बहुत अच्छा ड्रॉ करती है या करती है वट एव क्यू दे सीन थ्रेबियो आई फॉगॉट टू मार्क हेयर एक्सेंट विच गिवस ए साउंड लाइक दिस सो इट शुड बी हेयर क्यू दे सीन थ्रेबियो हु आर यू की एथ्यू सो बाय द वे the verb is are so let us go back and try to understand from where are comes well are comes from atro verb atro means to be and it is used to replace the words like is am are was and were je sui the conjugation of atr je sui i am q a u r il l a he she is nu som we are wo zat you are il so el so means they are completely irregular but the most important verb in french or for any language because it uh, because you know is am are was were these are very important for words in english they are verbs but in french they are just the words they don't exist they don't have the existence uh, as a verb in english uh, sorry in french the main verb is être only qui so who is qui and how this a came so please understand es and then ets let us go back and see so here you see es and ets q a matlab u r in hindi q means tu okay and who that means you are but it, it's a formal expression aap who means aap सो तू कैसा है की ए त्यू हु आर यू तू कौन है की ए त्यू एंड आप कौन है की ए वो लाइक दैट माई नेम इज वालेरी दे डोंट से माई नेम इज वालेरी इफ यू हैव टू ट्रांसलेट इट इन फ्रेंच you would better better you say i call myself valeri 
I call myself Valerie. So it should be Je m'appelle Valerie. But how it came? Je is I. The verb is call. The original form or the infinitive form is to call. Let us do the conjugation. The verb is appeler. So j'appelle. I call. Q appel. You call. Il elle appelle. He she calls. Nous appelons. We call. Vous appelez. You call. Il appelle. Elle appelle. They call. By the way, one thing I would like to remind you. I have told it many times, but again, it's important. I am pronouncing it nous appelons. So, have you noticed? The point is, whenever in a sen in a word, if it ends with a consonant, here s is a consonant, and the next word it starts with a vowel, here a is a vowel. So both words will be pronounced together. So instead of saying "nu aplo" because at last letter of French is always silent, I am saying "nu zaplo," "nu zaplo." So it will be pronounced together. "Vu zaple," pronounced together. My name is Valerie. Je. Uh, for myself, the word is mo. Myself is a reflexive pronoun that I will cover some other time. The reflexive pronoun video. But as of now, try to understand. Remember, for myself in French, it is mo. M e mo. So it is M e only. Uh, but as you know, the rule of French, another rule of French, whenever the first word ends with a vowel, okay, M E ends with E vowel, and the next word starts with a vowel also. Here, A is a vowel. So the first uh, word, a vowel, is replaced by apostrophe. So here it was e, so it got replaced by apostrophe, and the whole word will be pronounced together. That's the rule of French. So je m'appelle Valérie. I call myself Valérie. I eat chicken. The verb is manger. Let us see the conjugation. Je mange. I eat. Tu manges. You eat. Il elle mange. He she eats. Nous mangeons. We eat. Vous mangez. You eat. Il mange. Elle mange. They eat. Regular, very simple verb. Je mange. I eat. Du is an article. Je mange du poulet. Means chicken. Je mange du poulet. We think about you. Okay, so the verb is subject is we. The verb is penser, and object is about you. Conjugation of penser is regular verb. Je pense, tu penses, il elle pense, nous pensons, vous pensez, il elle pense. So, nu ponso a means about preposition tua. Well, you know that for you we say vu, but here you is used as a stressed pronoun, not a subject pronoun. It's a stressed pronoun. So, tua is a stressed pronoun. Nu uh, ponso a tua. This is very important. The major difference, however, works in your favor in French. There is no difference between the habitual present, I swim on Tuesdays, and the present progressive tense, I am swimming on Tuesday. So, it is saying in French, 
present continuous tense doesn't exist at all so if uh, in english we are saying i'm swimming on tuesday it will give the same meaning i swim on tuesdays which is a present progressive tense this means that it is more difficult for french speakers to learn english mm -hmm. because there is no distinction between these two tenses in french but it is very it makes it's super easy for english speakers so we all are english speakers i hope hopefully so congratulations felicitation he is arriving soon so this is present continuous and it doesn't exist so we will say he arrives soon he is ill arrive is arriver arriver to arrive jariv i arrive you arrive you arrive then il el arrive nu zaribo vu zarive il zariv el zariv he is arriving soon il arriv biento biento means soon il arriv biento he arrives soon or he is arriving soon how old are you now uh, this is little tricky you know for okay the verb is are hai na but in french they don't say how old are you if you have to do the literal translation into french from english you better say in english how old have you there are few things like hunger and age and thirst where we use have verb so it is how old have you kil is how old is aaj and have come from which verb well avoir we have done this in this session so avoir uh, kil aaj ave vu let me make your work even more simpler going back and reminding you avoir verb here it is who is away you are so kel aaj ave vu what is your age how old are you next is tomorrow i'm going to the library so the verb is going now please remember in french uh, as i told you present continuous tense doesn't exist so tomorrow i go to the library that will be the sentence the verb is go a most important verb and of course it is irregular aller means to go je vais i go tu vas you go il va he goes elle va she goes Nous allons, we go. Vous allez, you go. Ils vont, elles vont. They go. You have to learn this verb specially by heart. Tomorrow is the mo. I am going. Or I go. I is je. A we come from the conjugation. A la. bibliotheque to the library damo je vais à la bibliotheque please repeat with me damo je vais à la bibliotheque uh so let us do one thing L let us finish this video here only because it's too long already 24 minutes so i will catch you in my next video uh, doing few more sentences on present tense till that time bye bye take care and
and and and and and if you want to learn french from me you can whatsapp me you can uh, call me on the number provided on the screen i can teach you french up till b1 level uh, so merci beaucoup pour votre temps merci beaucoup pour me rejoindre et i will catch you very soon bye bye